I tell you, the devil is working this morning. You know. The devil is working. Don't want me to talk, but I am. Oh, that's crazy. I just saw a funeral and it's only the people in from the hearse and one car behind it. Yo, I'm telling you. That, that, it, yeah, you know. Anyway, people, back to the thing, cause you know, I know what going with the phone. But as I was saying to you before, um, in year 2021, every school in Jamaica is required to take a vaccine. Every single school and every single Jamaican is required to take a vaccine. If you just have a baby, in that time, you are required to take a vaccine. There's over 600 nurses and doctors that will arrive on the island to give the vaccine and the Jamaican doctors and nurses will be assisting. Over 30 million US, the government of Jamaica will be receiving to house these doctors that arrive in the island and the doctors and nurses in Jamaica to help, to pay them, right? If, you're, if you want to come to the United States of America, you are required to make sure you get a vaccine before you can get a United States visa. Means that a part of your application, it is mandatory that you get your vaccine before you get a United States visa. If you don't get the vaccine, you will not be granted a United States visa. You will not get it. So if you have a visa right now, as soon as this pandemic is over, and if it need to renew, you need to go renew it now because as soon as this come in effect, which will be shortly, you are required to be vaccinated before you can get a renewal of visa or get a new visa, right? It's mandatory. From in the 80s to the 90s, if you was vaccinated in those times, you are also required to get an updated version of vaccinated, which in the vaccine, there's a microchip. While we're worrying about 5G and all of that, that is not our that is not what it is on the table right now. This is run by Bill Gates. All all countries, all government leaders is required to sign the paper. If they do not sign the waiver, that they will be not excluded from this vaccine, they will have a problem. That means that a lot of things will they will lose it and will cut off from them. Right? So there's a waiver. Right, a lot of government officials have just signed the waiver. This vaccine, this whole program is run by Bill Gates and financed by Bill Gates. A lot of government from different parts of the world have just signed the waiver to receive the vaccine for their country. Right? I don't know how much country have do so so far, but because I don't want to give you wrong information, but a lot of country already met and signed this waiver. And agree to also receive the 30 million US. There's also money on the table. But we don't get all the information on that. Also, if you was infected by the COVID virus, you are required, mandatory, to take the vaccine. So all of who get the COVID virus, who have it now, who get rid of it, you are required to be vaccinated as soon as this vaccine is available. You have to take it. They know where you live at. They have your location and all your information. You are required. So, I know that a lot of Jamaicans are going to be hiding away from this vaccine and not sending their kids to school or whatever it is and blah, 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 blah. I understand that. But eventually, you're going to have to do it eventually. If you keep hiding this, so be God, you know, do it and whatever it is and all of that. But, a lot of people are going to have to take it. While some are not going to take it. You understand what I'm saying, Tuna? So, any one of you out there that want to sit and be stupid, right? Oh, back to that thing. If you're also applying for your green card, Right? If you're also applying for your green card, if you're if you're applying for a green card, if your green card is gonna be expired, you are also 
required, mandatory, to take the vaccine. Now, the President of the United States of America, you know, say, me like Trump, right, have signed a, signed a paper to cancel immigration for up to 60 days. Huh. The President signed a paper to cancel immigration for up to 60 days. Wait a minute. Stick up in there. Cancel. Um... Let's stick a pin. The President of the United States have signed a paper to cancel immigration for up to 60 days. Why the President so interested of canceling immigration for up to 60 days? Because guess what happened? The people, the people that, are, that are waiting to receive their green card and the people that are going to be applying for their green card, I am... Fortunate to tell you guys is that you're gonna to have to take the vaccine because there is a, there is a vaccine that should be coming shortly. Should be announcing any minute now that you're gonna to have to take. Right? No. You're gonna to have to take that vaccine. Right? No, check this. There's a reason behind everything. Nothing is gonna just happen to just happen just like that. Right? So can't see in to 60 days up to three months. Put a stop on your green card. People that are about to apply for green card, here comes the situation that you're gonna to have to deal with, unfortunately. Whether you like it or not. Right? So don't sit there and say, oh well, oh it's just that. No, 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 no. Postpone. Sorry, thank you. Postpone. Postpone. Thank you for a correction postponing your green card for up to 60 days there's a catch behind it so therefore you're going to have to get vaccinated in order to receive your green card they are curving everything as possible as they can do on whatever it is right so right now you see this old pandemic this is where people don't understand i want you guys to understand something because some of you are so much in religion and some of you are so much in the bible some of you believe so much things in the Bible that you live by the Bible day by day and this and that and that. A lot of the things in the Bible are true, but a lot of the stuff in the Bible is incorrect. Right? I've been written by mankind over and over. Everything I've been predict, everything I've written out, a blueprint is there. Everything I've lined out the way it's supposed to be. And the problem with a lot of us black people, we believe too much in the Bible. We live by the Bible day by day and all of that. And when you have to read something, you have to pick sense out of nonsense. I pick whatever makes sense. That's a problem. I see a lot of people have been posting scripture from out of the Bible stating that, oh, in 20, the, 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 God did tell us in 2020, God did tell us in 2020, What's going to happen? Signs and this and all of that are going to happen. Okay? A lot of, lot of you guys have been putting up that. Stop putting up that scripture. Stop putting it up and stop talking about God said and God this and God all of that. That is foolishness. Totally foolishness. Right? You guys are doing. Let me tell you something. All of this pandemic, everything was already made, was already planned. Everything was lined out already. You hear what I'm saying? Everything was already lined out, already and all of that. What you see in the Bible is what was originally, originally supposed to be out. So that 2020, when I put up and I said 2020, it is foolishness, right? A lot of stuff in the Bible is not correct. So if you want to sit down every day and I read about this Bible and this and all of that and let's pray because God said, God have said none of those words. None of us have never speak to God yet. We never see God face. There's a father, there's a creator. But stop, put up those baloney story and talk about God this and God that. It is not correct. A lot of these things are from our slave master coming up. A lot of these things, they have write it. They have, they have set everything to be what it's supposed to be. And all that. And you stupid ass black people, them get up every single day. I talk about this. Where God say and where God God don't say none of this. You understand what I'm saying? So the 2020 that you're seeing in the Bible, 
was right by man, was designed by man, right? And this is what's supposed to happen. Now, check this out now. This old coronavirus situation have come about so suddenly. The word God is coming like a thief in the night. Coronavirus have come like a thief in the night. Listen to what I'm saying. Coronavirus have come like a thief in the night. In the Bible. In the Bible. Hold on. I don't know who called me right now. In the Bible. It says. God is going to come like a thief in the night. Hmm? Right? God is going to come like a thief in the night. Okay. We just got a virus that come. Like a thief in the night. We just did. This virus have come in the, in, not even in the middle, in the beginning of the year as 2020 start. That will affect most of us life. Right? Affect most of us life. It affect your Easter, it affect every holiday and it will affect your Christmas. It will affect your years to come. Right? So what I'm trying to say to you guys, you need to go and read the Bible that you're reading and put everything together because the truth is right in front of us. Look into it. We are so desperate to receive a United States visa. I'm glad I got one that I came here and now I don't have a visa anymore. I'm glad. I got the opportunity. I become a better person. Me, 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 me have more things than I ever have. But I will say this. This coronavirus, I'm praying to God that I don't catch it. But I'm not going to say I've been affected financially. I've not affected financially by this virus under any circumstances. And a lot of you have been affected financially for this because you guys never prepare for anything. You guys think that there's nothing going to happen. The world is going to come to a hand and this and all of that and has dead cow fat and all that story. A lot of you don't prepare. A lot of you have been going through financial difficulty before this virus even come about. And this should be something that most of you should really look into and change your life to make your life better. Now, you need a visa. So bad. That you're going to have to apply for a visa, you're going to have to get the vaccine. Right? Uh, right? You're going to have to receive the vaccine in order to get a United States visa. And this is the thing that comes around is that when you have a country and you have leaders that do not care about their citizens of Jamaica and other parts of the world, not only Jamaica, this is where the problem comes in. And that's why, you see, I like Venezuela. I like Cuba and other countries that do not settle for less and do not take foolish from anybody. And when we talk, you see, let me say something to you. Of all the prime minister that I can remember in Jamaica, which prime minister in Jamaica get the most disrespectful ever tell me which prime minister get the most disrespect ever in the history of jamaica in the history of leadership in the country hmm? right anyway i am not here to Cause anybody and none of them something. Me I hear me a reason and me I tell them what I go on. A lot of you people sit down day by day and waste so many time sitting reading Bible and oh I, I'm praying to God that God will take this virus away. No mankind is trying to be God and they're not God. They're not God. We will never be God. Never ever be God. But we be so disobedient to God. That we are reaping all of these bad things in life. No, we all are receiving it because we'll be disobedient. Thank God for the one that will not be disobedient. But a lot of us on earth is so disobedient to God. That's 
we are getting a beaten. And we're going to continue to get a beaten. And remember this. The things that a lot of you should be focusing on life and paying attention to. You're not paying attention to it. You're, you're, you're too busy buying a car, building big house, um, buying fancy phone, buying hot clothes, and all of that. We're so busy. Right? So busy. And we're not paying attention to the most important thing. We're not, nobody's paying attention to space. Nobody's paying attention. Why there's always a space, a space, um, space shuttle? Why they always going there? Why they always doing this? And I listen, mankind is coming up with their own creative stuff. And they're trying to be God. They want you to believe that they're God and all of that. Right? And let me explain to you and so forth. When the world has come to an end, when the world has come to an end, or let's just say they're going to try to make the world come to an end. It's not going to be by our creator. Because the only thing they can do is destroy us and earth. Bomb, fire, flood, all of that. Things that Jack from Sky kill all of us. That's the only thing they can do. They cannot. They try to mimic and try to, 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 to create life. It always fails. God is the only person that can create life, our creator. But mankind is the one who's destroying Everybody, everything that we use, mankind, right? Now, people understand this. I am not here to bash the Bible. I am not bashing the Bible. I am not disrespecting the Bible. But if you have 500 words in the Bible, at least 150 of that word is correct. 150. Lot of your black people sit down day by day and live by this Bible. Wanna get up, wanna do everything by oh the Bible said this, the Bible said that. And, and and a lot of us are living so evil, so much hate, so much bad mind inside of us. And yesterday we sit down every day and say that we are reading the Bible. Right? We we are reading the Bible. Well, the world is coming to an end. The Bible is fulfilling. Well, God said this. God never said none of those words. God have never said one of those words. None of us on earth ever see God face. God never come come tell you this. Right? Now, when them say, well, God, now how did we get the words from God to write it in a Bible? That is the thing that I always ask myself growing up as a kid. How did we get the word from God that we put it in writing in a Bible? And how did we get to can write something that you can read and say that that's what God said. Those are God's words. So where's the creation of coming from? Okay, wait a minute. Well, Fred them tell me say that building over there say I go burn down tomorrow. All right. Let's write it out. Building I go burn down tomorrow. Right? Well, Fred them tell me say me heart I go drop out tomorrow. Okay. Me out I go jack out tomorrow. What really happened? Right? So much things that you believe in. Well, let's go to church because when you go to church, your life is better. Bullshit. Let's go listen to the pastor because when the pastor preach, the pastor is touching a soul. Bullshit. Right? Totally bullshit. Right? You can't even trust the man in the church who said, Emma used the words that them said that God tell us. And now, let me say something to you. I am not a fan of Vegas. Not a fan of Vegas. At all. But a lot of things of Vegas are talked about. Emma got to talk until he's dead. Because half a generation is not going to listen to him. But some of what he's talking about. It makes sense and the logic is there and it's reality. A lot of us take religion too far. And it comes back again where religion comes into the middle of it. Where now we're talking about COVID-19. COVID-19. A man created. We understand that. And not only that we understand it. Well, God, I'm praying, God, that you take this away. Now, God said no one of the whole nine kingdom. 
The law was given by Moses, but great and true came through the Lord Jesus Christ. Right? Now check this. God can do all things. All things God can do. But one thing God is not going to do. When you be disobedient to him as a human being, you have to deal with the consequence. That's why them say there's a judgment. There is a judgment. And if my mother tell me, say, me not to go over there, so go put my finger in that door there. And me still go put myself, my finger in that door, and the door slam on my finger and cut it, I broke it and so forth. I have a mind of my own. I went and I do that. That's where mankind comes in. And we get it wrong over and over. Oh, let's pay our tithes because if we pay our tithes, COVID is not going to catch us. Let's go to church and worship because if we go to church and worship, then there will be no COVID in the church. We're covered by the blood of Jesus. Ain't we all on earth covered by the blood of Jesus? Ain't all of us covered by the blood of Jesus? Ain't all of us have blood? Ain't all of us can breathe? Ain't all of us can see? Now, did God tell us if we go over the center fire? We, are, we all have our intuition. We all have our mind. We all have a body. But the dangerous weapon on earth that we live with day by day are mankind that are fucked up against mankind. You don't want me to have a house because you don't have a house. You don't want me to have money because you don't have no money. You don't want me to drive a car because you don't have no car. And if me do buy a car, you bad mind me for the same kind of car where you have. But yesterday we are living by the Bible, word by word. We get up every day and we do all of this. It comes back around to this COVID-19 situation is still remain. Right? It comes back to that. Right? COVID-19 has been created for years and years. This was predicted years and years ago and now it comes to reality. And they know that we as human beings are going to accept it, unfortunately, whether we like it or not. So it's a part of our life. So all of you that get up and pray and are this and God is not going to this and God to cut out that crap. It's for you to protect yourself. Follow what God wants you to do. Okay? Protect yourself. Stay out of certain environment. Stop getting involved in certain kind of situation. Don't put yourself in arm's way to arm yourself. If them say we are dust mass, we are a dust mass. If them say tan in your yard, tan in your yard. People who live in Jamaica live all in some far country all up in some hills and say, boy, I'm not living this, you know. That's out of civilization. Boy, they don't have no light. They are living better than you that live in the reality of what this life is. A man that live up in the hill, we up in the hills, where have to walk miles and miles, he have been lamping and the light and him just did and he cooking food, he healthy food and eating on the fridge. He have a little salting. When he do get a little salting, he, 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 he cooking food right away. He go a little chicken and sit like that and all that. He are living healthy and better than you that living in a, in a, in a, in a, in a environment that because you have everything you think so that's life. That don't affect them. If we follow the rules, what God said from, right? In the beginning, what we're supposed to eat and what we're supposed to drink, a lot of us won't have a lot of this health problem we have. And we downgrade people and cause people who live certain kind of lifestyle. The man who mad pan the road walk up and down when I have no chicken for eat and no pork for yam and no shrimp and no lobster and, no, and things like that. Him probably healthy and a little better than you were healthy when go to doctor. You understand? We, as human beings, are doing so much things are wrong and adapting certain kind of principle. And when we adapt certain kind of principle, we turn around to religion and use religion as a weapon to try to cover up our dirty lifestyle or whatever life is. So it comes around to this COVID-90 situation. Look what we have to adapt you now because we want, we like, and we be disobedient to God. And if they would only talk the truth, as Christian, as they said, you have so much different religion. You, you, you got Muslim, you got Pentecost, you got Church of God, you got Poco, you got so much different religion in the world. So much different church. But yesterday we are serving one God. We all say God. 
We all have a creator, but everybody give it their own meaning and their own everything. What I'm saying to you guys, you want a visa? No, you have to take a vaccine. You want to come here? Right? You want to come to the United States? That's what you have to do. You want a green card? That's what you have to do. But when you walk outside, in the road, I know saying of walk out there. That is your responsibility. It is your responsibility. It have nothing to do with God. God would save your life, yes. But when God put the truth in front of us, you know what we do as human beings? We look past it and say, mm -mm -mm. May I walk across the road because a thousand all over this up on the ground. But God tells us you no go there, take it up. It's the devil. It's a trap. You still be disobedient and walk across the road and carry the key in your nastiness now. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Oh God, you couldn't save me. But God tell us you not to go over there and you still go over there. Disobedient. This is what we're dealing with day by day. And we're so back with this thing. All these things from slavery days coming for years and years. From from, our, from for them four parents to that four parents and all of that have created this over the years. It's not the first disease that come by. It's not the first. How many disease have you heard about since I born till today, dear? Every minute there's a different name. Did God create HIV? Did God create Cancer? Did God create COVID? God never created none of that. But yes, they don't want God to cure us because we'll be disobedient. Where man I do, I sleep with man. Where woman, where woman I do, I go down for woman and I die with woman. Where man I do, I need dog. Where man I do, I need bat. Where man I do, I need all these things on earth that don't supposed to need. Why are they on earth? Hmm? So much problem we have on this earth and we keep blaming, keep blaming God for not help us. When God tells you not to drink the damn pies and you got to drink the damn pies. No, you want God to take you out after God tells you not to drink it. We disobedient to God and that's why we are living in hell, right? We're living in hell and we're living in judgment. And it, thank you, it won't be the last either. It won't be the last. And they're not going to stop until they destroy most of the human race because we be disobedient. And we will never do what God tell us to do. We do what we feel like. Yo, you did it? Alright. Alright, well, do, go over the blue house. You see the blue house? Go to the blue house and... and, and, and um, you have the guy number? Well, just go over. You see the blue house? Go over the blue house and go knock the door over there. Them over there. You see, the, the, you know what Charles Mata? You have the pretty, pretty, like the orange house, the one next. Just go over there and knock the door. Because I'm kind of busy here. Yeah. All right. Let me tell you something, people. We be disobedient to God and we are living in hell. This is judgment we're living in. And we need to accept the judgment we're living in because we accept it. It's just it come around is that our government. Our Prime Minister of Jamaica will not put his head on the block to save you guys. He will sacrifice any one of you just to make their life better. Right? So let me tell you something. They must sell us out a long time. They must do everything a long time. Let's get that in our head and understand. We don't know what happened when you're dead and gone. When you're gone and gone, nobody knows what happened. But no government nowhere in this world can be trusted. They are the leaders and the government run by somebody else. The government run by somebody else. Somebody else have to listen to somebody else. You understand? So what I'm trying to tell you people right now, this old... COVID-19 situation is a virus that's going to disappear. As I said, 30 to 60 days and it's gone. It's going to disappear. But we still will be paying the price for this virus after it disappear. Here comes a vaccine. Here comes a microchip that will be inserting inside of every one of us body who take it. 
Because we like wants and we, we, we like things and we'll be disobedient to God. Let's continue to be disobedient to God and let's deal with the precaution that we are getting. This is judgment. This is where we're living in and this is what we have to adapt. If you live your life on a low profile and not do certain things, maintain that. Maintain it. But we must stand for something. We must try to save our kids. We should try to stick together as one. It's time that black people come together and realize that we become the guinea pig. And we be fighting against the biggest racist, racism right now out there are black fighting against black. That is slavery. That is where racism comes in. Black fighting against black. We talk about white people and white people. Oh, they don't like us. They don't like us. We don't like we. We do not like we as black people. We hate us as black people. Because you cannot have money. You cannot have a house. You cannot be better than me. We fight each other. We are the biggest downfall to our life. Yes, we have white people who fight against us. But slavery still exists. Because black people still make slavery exist. That is, that is the problem we have. We're not sticking together. We're not building a thing together. We can't live. Look at the Spanish people. Them. Look how they live. Look how we live like cats and dogs. Look how we are dropped like fly. Look what happened in Jamaica. So I know every time when you hear Vegas come on. And as we say Vegas is not my, it, it's not my artist. I don't really like Vegas song. Them. It's not my kind of artist. But a lot of things when we must say, he might go and preach at until till him dead. Because no further than take him to it and, and believe what he must say. But a lot of it when I'm saying makes sense. And it's the reality of life. We're focusing on the wrong thing. We spend too much time in religion. Yeah. Hello? The blue house, that the blue house beside the orange one, man, just got next door to the blue house. There's only one blue house there. Okay. Yeah, cause me, me can't talk no, me, me, yeah, yeah, I cut off something, right? You understand me, I say? There's so much problem we have as black people. And we are gonna remain as shit. We are gonna remain in the bucket. We are gonna remain who we are. We are gonna re remain broke and pauperized. And bad mind against each other unless we change it. Stop depending on government to change it. Stop depending on others to change it. You change it. It's just like I said that the other day I did a video and I said, listen, a lot of family are not going to be affected by the keep your distance. Because a lot of family members have been keeping their distance for over the years. And if you end up dead, them can't come to your funeral anyway because guess what happened? They've been keeping their distance. It's only a few of them will be coming to your funeral. Right? What I'm trying to say to you guys right now, we black people is shit to amongst or one another. And that's why eventually there's so much people gonna die in Jamaica because they don't listen and we don't wanna unite. You get up and you spend money in Obia man and you do all kind of something because you want money and you want to make sure your sister died to you over there, sir. Foot mash up that she no move. You want to keep moving while Sister Dorothy over there so can move. It's the same thing like the lady at Jamaica named Dana. Same thing like that lady there. Now, I see her, I don't know nothing about her. But she do her thing. And she not fear her role and she do what she do. But look into it now. It's just like Mr. Handsome. Mr. Handsome do the same thing. Dana do fear her thing. And when they're ready, then go up and then appear. Oh, Mr. Answer, my teeth, my this and my that and rate it and blah, 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 blah. How can I sit in? Them say. Now, why can't you support the two individuals and what they're doing? Support Dana and support Answer and what he's doing. Oh, because Dana come on and show so well, I got 100,000 to give to Mars John or Mars Brown that make her better than Mr. Answer. Do, because Mr. Handsome come on and do this and only oh, don't see the money that means he's a criminal. Black people is the biggest problem. Support Dana, support Handsome, 
Support the other girl named Bless Evan. Me, me not remember all of them. Support all of who you. Who is your fan? Support them. But if, guess what happened? Instead of not trying to unite Dana and Mr. Ansom together, and some farmer we are, who not fight against Dana, who not fight against Ansom. Well, me not like Dana because Dana had this and Dana had that. Well, Dana this and Dana this and blah, 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 blah. Dana, how can I sit in? We don't already know because Dana, we don't already know because Ansom. The same amount to you because Dana, the same amount to you because Ansom and so forth. Why can't everybody unite together? Why can't? Support both of them at the Maduro. Do. Dana can't cover the whole Jamaica. And some can't cover the whole Jamaica. Them can't. We all need help. But we are bad men against each other. And that is where it comes in. That's why we end up in the problem we end up in. And we don't listen. We don't listen. And we're not going to listen. Until, guess what happened? We're going to start dead one by one. Listen. My woman always said to me, say, no, boy, you know, you're different. Woman always say, you're different, you know. Sometimes woman say, boy, you act like you're not art, you know. Me not all are reason about, about things. The way me live, people, and the way inside of me is, if a lot of people would live like me and be like me, then life would be a lot better. Don't give a fuck about what nobody wants to say. If somebody don't like you, okay, fine. S somebody say you're close, dot you, okay, fine. If you want to eat somebody, eat somebody, you know, like them, but don't like them for a reason that makes sense. Don't just like them because them are the better or whatever. I live a certain kind of life. You don't have to like Dr. Love. You don't have to be a part of Dr. Love world. You don't have to support me because I don't give a rat ass if you support me. Yes, I know. Because right now in this epidemic that's going on, believe in me, I, I don't want to catch your virus. But if me catch you, I just so. But me don't want to catch it. But I ain't got no problem with, okay, I'm still doing my jobs them. Am I right? Ain't no problem. You understand? But some of the people, um, some of the people are so bad, man, and so fucked up in our life that we don't even understand. Say, the biggest downfall in our life are only on one downfall in our life. Right? The biggest downfall in our life, who know the biggest downfall in our life? I'm not going to remain that way. So you see this whole COVID situation I go on? There's no unite I go on. Because someone have been keeping on a distant from a long time. We don't know, listen. No family member now say, oh, let's join together now. Every, all of a sudden, everybody are pray, everybody turn preacher. Everybody is so religion. And as soon as this over, Oh shit, everything is okay. Nobody remember God again. Nobody remember the problem we then got you. We are users. And through God knows how we are user. That's why I'm low to do what we have to do for find ourselves in our own judgment. Mixed with the devil because of that we love. You understand? God allows us to do what we want to do. Because no fun and I'm called God name after this over. I'm so glad I'm making money again. Well, I can't do my hair right now because, oh, look at my nails. Oh, look at my face. And, I, and I'm like, really? So you just want this over? That you can doll up and look good again if you go find somebody for a rubber act like you are somebody. We have a lot of problems. We have a lot of problems as human beings. And let me tell you something. I love white people. Because whatever my four prayers go through, I never definitely witness it. I never go to that. I don't want nobody to come tell me about saying me come from Africa. I never go to Africa yet. I don't have birth papers in Africa. My birth papers in Jamaica. I think I owe them delivery. Jamaica, my birth papers. I don't want to tell me about no Africa, but I go back to Africa and this and that and rate it and blah. And Jamaica, I come from. And that's what I know about. Not tell me about Africa. Well, we need to this. Uh, no, we don't need to do nothing. We need to unite together. So this whole COVID situation that's going on, a lot of you is going to be facing the judgment. And this is your judgment day. So accept it and move on. Because none of them praise God after this. Not one of the people. 
I go come from Facebook and kneel up on the knees and pray and praying to God and all that. Some of the girls get up and pray to God. I don't have no fake body and fake breast. I don't have pray to God. Oh God, am I asking you to save me? Why you never ask God to save you? You make the man put the injection on in your body. Oh God, you know God, I promise after this I'm not going to be disobedient. Okay, as soon as this over, you'll be back on the road selling front and doing the same thing. It's just a moment. You're going through a moment. That's exactly what's going to happen. We all use God. And we all think God is a fool. But God is not a fool. We are the fool because we suffer. And we get punished for the sin we have committed. And that is the problem we have. So I don't want to but let me tell you something. When I come to the United States of America, a white people help me if they were me there. That me can sit down right there so I drive that vehicle that me have a trade. White people. Help me in this country. I get more fight from black people than white people. Not saying that white people are better. But why is that? Because we have a problem against our own black. And our own black would not empower us for us to be better. Now, if you're doing good, the white man will allow if you do what you do and whatever. The still tell them we not come to them with certain things. We find time to gossip and find time to sit on Facebook and do everything. Oh my God, and this and blah. The white man out there do what they might do. Not being pauperized. Not sitting depending on a twelve hundred dollar check. Think your life is gonna better. Not sitting down depending on welfare. Not sitting down thinking that you're not woman there. The woman will take care of you. I am a man there. The man will take care of you and so on, depending on somebody. How about depending on yourself? Depend on yourself and take care of yourself. Be responsible. We are always depending on somebody to do something. And when they don't do it, that person becomes a problem. It's time for all of us, the black people, to realize the problem in our life and how we can put a solution to our problem and life will be better and it don't look like it's going to change so what I'm saying to you now right and this COVID situation that's going on I'm asking all of you now to understand say there's going to be a problem and there's going to be a situation but obey the rules right now work with it but stop using God for phone one use start abusing god because on a life would be better look into it i know my credit drop too my credit drop and tago go back up no 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 i buy stock when if you buy in a hopper when if you buy in a home depot when if you buy in a banks when if you buy in a year line when if you buy in a everything you can buy buy some stock because all this it's going to come. You hear what Trump say? We're going to be better than we ever before. We're going to be a great country. We're starting fresh and we're going to get more. Black people sitting down worrying about what the year style they might get or what the new lawyer come out or the new car or the new wheels they might go get and all of that. Ain't none of them sitting down worrying about let's buy some stock because yo, shit about to get real. Let's buy some Apple stock because after this Apple lockdown, Apple are gonna come back. Let's go to Walmart and buy some stock because right after this, a boom market are gonna lick. We don't no buy no stock, we don't no do none of that. We don't sit down and worry about, oh, there, I can't wait to go to there to do my breasts. Oh, I can't wait to go do my breasts. And all of them something there. Hmm? Um, white people, white people are black people for everything we have. Um, young lady, let me say something to you. White people did not rob black people. Black people give white people the permission. Black people sell everything they have because they don't, a lot of them don't have a brain to think. A lot of them mind is so small minded. A white man come in and tell us, I'm going to give you one care because you want a care. You, he might get care and him take your land. Guess what happened? He never rob with. And you give to him. He have a brain just like we, but he realized the food brain a dirt bag. Why people not rob black people? A black people give it up. Mama tell you something. 
Where me come from one place named Lonasville, St. Catherine. But that's where me come from. You have a sugar estate named Roddy Park Estate. Where rum bar make. I don't like a bone in other white people. You know I don't like them. But when I look into it again, I have to turn around and say, alright, you can't blame them. Because everybody that live in Lonasville, St. Catherine, the white people them take up all of the camp piece them. And you know the history of me here from my only them people? The white man then used to give the black people them hog and goat and cow and take their land. The black people they never wall out, but the white people they wall out. Everywhere in a load as we send catching, there's a key piece. That means that there's a rum factory and the community is still under poverty same way. And it's one of the community, in, one of the, the parish in Jamaica that were the first arrow rocks them came from slavery. And we're still poor, still pauperized. And them push us in the community that them, them own everything. And then hire all of the black people in the community for go work for them and cut cane. No proper gears. Can't save themselves and kill off themselves. And we do it. Our four parents were dumb and stupid. Our four parents get up and give away everything. Me have a grandfather to and my grandfather take the land them we have and give away all our land to people them to girl. Because girl are giving look a bit of front. And give away all our land them. And I want to look a piece of land left there now. We don't know we never have a run down. Eh? Think about it. A white man coming here and say, oh, yo, you, you, you look like you need a new bicycle, man. You can't be walking. But you know, I got one, you know. You, you, I, I got one. Where you live at? Oh, I live over there. Oh. Then, you know, I, I, I saw, I, I saw a, 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 a wheelbarrow in the backyard. Oh, no, you could take it, man. That's whole man. I don't want it, man. You could take it, man. You never have to say, so why does a white man want a wheelbarrow in your backyard that looks so broke up? He might go refurbish it and fix it and sell it back to your damn jackass. Hmm? Your damn jackass. Exact. Thank you, my friend. We just give Jamaica to China. We just give Jamaica to China. Just give Jamaica to China. We don't hold on to nothing. The government don't hold on to nothing. They don't believe in holding on to nothing. They believe in taking the fast money and move on. And so people, what I'm saying to you, stop blame white people for our full parents, dirty mentality, stupidity, uneducated, where them sell out everything. And we want, we, we, look, them sell out everything. And now we can get up now, can sacrifice. Them. We don't like white people. We never sell them shit because we never, not, so our full parents just sell it out and get to them at them. At them with a cost. I feel them grave if we go stamp on and beat down and say, you son of a bitch. Eh? At them with your cuss. Cuss our four parents, we sell out everything. And cuss.